Hey guys, Glenn here. Um, got a Home Depot unboxing video. Because Home Depot only lets you do reviews, but not video reviews. So, let me get this turned around for you. No, does this have anything on it? Hold on, let me just check. No, I didn't check. No, it's in a black box. Okay, so what I got for you today is, this is the Brinley 10 cubic foot uh, lawn garden tractor cart. Now, I've got a Cub Cadet CC30E that I bought last year, uh, May of 2022. Got it on sale at Home Depot for, it was normally, it was 30, yeah, it was uh, 3100 It was on sale for 27 so I grabbed it. The one one anyways, so I grabbed that. And um, so I decided uh, about a week or so ago, I wanted to get a garden cart for my lawn, so when I have various jobs to do, I've got a cart that I can haul around. I do have a works aero cart, which I use for a lot of heavy lifting and stuff. You know, it's got the tongue on the front to use it as a hand truck. You can turn it into a wheelbarrow, or you can put the wagon kit on it, or you can put the plow kit on it. And I use that for a lot of various things. But I wanted something I could haul around with my tractor. So this is it right here. I'm going to get this thing opened up so we can see what's inside and show you how nice the card is. And then I'm going to assemble it and get it ready for my um, wagon to go. What I'm going to do is, I'm in my shed right now, and I've got a 12 by 14 inch shed. Um, 14 foot, I mean. 12 by 14 foot shed. And in order to have room to, for this, I want to make a place where I can, you know, stand it up on end. But I don't want to have it fall over. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to screw an eye bolt into, you know, um, the joist right there for the wall. And I'm going to put an eye, uh, screw in an eye, an eye bolt. And then I'm going to use the, the pin that comes with this to go through the eye hook and hold it against the wall so it can't fall over. Then when I'm ready to use it. I just pull the pin, grab it, I'll get the tractor, put the pin into the tractor, and I'll be all set. So that's what I'm going to do. So let me get this thing unboxed, and then we'll get see how easy it is to put together. All right, so let me just go ahead and cut these straps open here. All right. We'll just toss these aside, make room for ourselves here. too hard to put this thing together um, and there's one thing I want to tell you that I did and you want to do the same thing if you're thinking about buying one of these carts no matter which brand it is if it's a a polycarbonate plastic box um, I mean a cart I'll show you what I did before we get this out all right this thing has a bunch of nuts and bolts that came with it and they're just the regular nuts and bolts. What's going to happen over time is they're going to rust, right? So, now you can go to your local hardware, right? True Value, Abishon, Ace Hardware, um, even Home Depot, Lowe's, right? You can buy nuts and bolts stainless steel. The only problem is, like, if I go over here to my Abishon hardware right next door to me, I can go buy nuts and bolts, and it's going to cost me an arm and a leg because they're going to charge, like, to something for just one bolt, right? And I'm going to need 12 of these things to put in here. So 12 of this 24 bucks you're going to spend just for the bolts. That's not including the nuts and the washers, right? Nuts and the washers are probably going to be around the same. So you're looking at probably another, say between 50 and 80 bucks, just for those bolts to make put stainless steel on it. So I go to my favorite store, which is Amazon.com, right? And I go look and I said, wait a minute here, let's see what I can get. Well, guess what, here it is. 115 um, nuts, bolts, washers. And the nice thing is because, and I'll show you when I get it out, right? The, the bolts that come with this car are a regular hex head, right? So now you got this hex head that's going to be sticking up on the inside of the cart, 
So stuff could get caught on it if it wanted to, right? So instead, I go on to Amazon and I order these, right? They're a rounded hex bolt, not hex head, but hex bolt. And let me get, well, um, they do give you with it. Let me just see where is it is in here. Uh, must be on the, must have left it in the house. That's all right. Um, they give you an Allen wrench that comes with it. So that's nice. They give you what you need, right? And let me see, do I have, oh boy. I don't have my Allen wrench. But anyways, I'll come back to the house and get my Allen wrench because it's not here. I brought it with me, I thought. I don't even have the one that came in the package here. But anyway, as you can see, hex, right? So Allen wrench, rounded, nothing you get caught, stainless steel. When I pay for these, might you ask, well, guess what? I bought this whole set, 115 pieces, even came with these nice little plastic dividers. They gave you an Allen wrench, which I wish was here, and I thought I'd stuck it in here, but I'm pretty sure I did, but I don't see it. But anyways, um, so what happened was, um, oh, I bought these off Amazon, right? Price, 21 bucks. 115 pieces. Now, I don't need all of this stuff for the car, but down in my basement, I have a workbench area. I'm going to be moving it to another section of my basement, and when I do, I plan on buying some of those uh, boxes with the plastic drawers that slide in and out, and I'm going to put all of these and start stocking up on nuts and bolts, so I don't have to go to the hardware to buy any. Um, but yeah, once I do that, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to start buying them in the package like this, and I'll have plenty on hand. I won't have to go to the hardware to pay for this stuff. Um, all right, let's get this thing unboxed and see what we got. All right, guys, well, I found the wrench that came with the set. They give you that little Allen wrench. It's fine. It fits the set, and I'm good. So, all right, let's put this back in here for now so we can get this thing unboxed. All right, so... As you can see, the box is not very wide. It's only here, width of the, of the car itself. All right, so let's get this opened up. Now, I had this shipped to the house. They said it on Home Depot. They had four, no, five of them at my local store, which is the Wayham Home Depot. Um, but I didn't feel like going to get it, and I said, well, they said they can deliver it. Well, I thought they meant they'd deliver it from the store and bring it right to my house. No, they shipped it right from the manufacturer, so that's fine. All right, um, let me just see. I guess I'll have to slide this out of the box. Yeah, this is where the weight's at. All right. Maybe, because I'm just going to toss the box anyway. Let me just make it easier getting out because a little heavy for me. So let me just go ahead and split the box right up the side. same over here. Or maybe I can just slide it out. I'll drop this down enough now. All right. Let's go ahead and oh, here we go. That side is just put the right part up to cut it. All right. Here we go. All right, I'm to place to set down to. All right. Whoa. Look at noisy here, jeez. All right, so, here's the frame itself, okay? So, we'll put that right back there. And then now there is, they tell me there's two cardboard inserts for this. You can divide the car into three sections. So I have to keep an eye out for those. Don't lose them and don't throw them away. Okay, nice 
axle right here, a nice heavy axle. Okay, and let's put that right under there. Now these are 15 by 6 inch pneumatic tires right here. Nice actually. All right, so we'll put these over here. Oh, it was here. I found what I was looking for. I looked there and I didn't see it. I got my other Allen wrench. All right, so the two tires, that's nice. And then um, okay, so that's not gonna need that, I don't believe. That's not what I'm looking for. I'm actually looking for the cardboard inserts that they claim are in here. For, uh, hold on guys. I got something here that's trying to fall down on me and not gonna let it happen. Alright. It's trying to though. Alright, let's turn this around. Oh, that's gonna do the same thing. Give me a second, guys. Sorry about this. Just gotta get this stuff out of the way. Alright, so now, right in here. Alright. We'll take this out of the way and we'll just toss it right outside. Okay. This is the part where the axle's gonna go through. This mounts. Oh, I'm sorry, I don't even know if you can see me. Oh, I guess so. Uh, I don't know. Alright, sorry about that guys. Alright, so here's the part where the axle goes through. Maybe we'll set this off to the side. That's the first thing that's going to get mounted. All right. Then I don't know where those cardboard pieces are that go with the insert that they talk about because I don't see them, but well, they must be here somewhere. All right. So I've got the nuts, the bolts, um, some more brackets in here. Um, so they get mounted, and so we're going to go ahead and get this thing mounted properly. All right, they give you a Brimley, um, show you just what other products they have, things like that. So we'll put that up here. Owner's manual right here, I downloaded the manual from Home Depot's website, so I'm not going to open that up because. Me and my wife are trying to get rid of clutter in the house. And we don't want clutter, so. Alright, let's get this out of here. Put that. The other is here. Okay. Well, I don't see the inserts they were talking about. I'll have to see what they're talking about before I throw any of this cardboard away. All right, I'm gonna put this over here. So it's a nice heavy poly cart, nice heavy plastic. I think this will take a lot of abuse. Um, you know, not that I have any trees in my yard. I got rid of my last tree um, oh, last month. So, all right, we'll put this over here. We'll make this a little bit easier for installation. I don't see what I'm looking for. Nope. All right. So we'll take this and, well, we can leave it down, I guess. I can use it to set the cart together. Um, all right. So I'm going to get this thing started. And all you need just so you know, is, well they said, a 9 16 wrench, and then half inch for the nuts and the bolts, but where I'm going to be using a actual hex bolt and an Allen wrench, 
I'm not going to need any of the stuff that they're talking about. Well, not I, I won't need that part. I just need to see. All right. So I'm assuming I'm going to see what size that is. Is that the by one inch? Yeah, it looks like it. Okay. And I've got 12 of those, so let me just get two of them out of my package. Let's see. That opened this up anyway. Oh, they do have to run. These do have rounded heads on them. That's alright. I'm using stainless steel, so I just gotta measure and get the right length that I have. I think that's probably it. Let's see. Probably. Oh, I hope that was tiny. Oh, maybe these are it. Yeah, these are for it. Yeah, I got them. Okay. So, I have more than enough. I've got 15. I need a total of 12. So, let's go ahead and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve. All right, so there's my twelve bolts that I'm going to need. And I'm going to need twelve of the nuts. Four, five, six. Let me get all the stuff I need. I'll be right back. Okay, guys. Now, let's get started getting these. Now, let me get a look and see what's up next. I'm getting there with this car. All right. So, yep. Yeah. Now, where do they want those? I don't know. They lock nuts and washers. I hope they didn't want them there, because. Well, let's see. Yeah, it looks like maybe they did. Um. Oh, they gave you. Oh, you know what? I just put stainless steel there. That should be fine. I'm going to change it out with stainless steel um, nylon lock washers. So, I mean, knots when I do it. So, that's fine. All right. So, now that's installed. Let's see what's next. All right. So, we have to install that. And that's the, I guess, the pad that it sits on. All right. So. All right, let's set this up. This is going to be quite heavy now because I've added some stuff to it. All right, let's lay that on the side. Give me some room here. All right, so here's the pad that they want me to put on whatever I did with the rest of the... Geez, how can I lose that? It's the big, um, oh, right here, jeez, I'm losing it guys, I tell you. All right, so, this has to come down, all right, which way does this go? Let's just get a look at my, at my manual here. All right, so it goes, 
like this. All right, so if I'm looking at this this way. Yeah. Okay, like that, okay. And, no, they want it the other way. I'm sorry. Oh. All right. Yeah. All right, so we put it like that. And they want it to go down through here like so. All right. And then, okay, come through the bottom. And I'm using, all right, that's that big long, okay. Um, okay, so that's the number 15. So now I have to break into my package of screws for this. All right, and I need that real long. Which one is it? Let's take this out. Got something else in here I need to get out anyway. So let's just get this out. Okay. There's that. Toss that in the box out there. All right, so now there's supposed to be, yeah, it looks like it's right there. All right, let me go ahead and cut this bolt out. I'm going to need to do it. All right. There's that, and which number is the... Well, then make sure I'm getting the right stuff here. All right. Number 16. All right. Put this outside in the light so I can see. Guess they're all the same. It's not marked which number is which. So I assume. Is there one of these? Oh, it's right here. Yeah, I see it. Okay, it's one of these. All right. So it's got some like locking, like washer attached to it. One of those. Okay. Put that back there. All right. And now, how does this? All right. Oh, it goes through. Okay, I see it. Okay. All right, it's got a hold on the other side. I have to line this up with. And I guess it doesn't require any washes from the looks of it. Nope. Oh, it screws through the other side. Okay. And that's all just, yeah. Okay, so that's what it's showing. Oh. Okay, here we go. All right. So, does it matter? Yeah, they want it upside down. All right, so upside down, the bolt goes through to the other side. All right. Oh, they want it. Which way do they want this? Oh, they want it on that side? Really? Okay. Which way do they want this? Do they want two of these? I don't think so. 15, 16, and then 4. Alright, so they want it like that. And then, oh, and it does require the other number 16. That's what I kind of wanted. All right, let's get this other number 16 out of here. All right, so what it does is this. So, if you put number 16 on this side. It is 
going to come through, and that is a, okay. I get it, so it allows it to, okay. And then put the other side on, before it gets to the other hole on the opposite side. Now that, 916 is probably what size this is, right? Yeah. Okay. I'll give you guys, I'll be back in a second. All right guys, so I'm, I'm sorry, I didn't realize the video was in the wrong spot. I'm now putting this, it's not a lever or a brake, I'm not sure what it is, but it's right here. All right, so I have to put this long um, bolt through here. And then let me get it finished. Um, putting it through. Get this all the way up, and then pull this, okay. Okay, I'm just going to pull this down out of my way for a minute. Stand on this, okay. okay. Almost knocked my camera over, God. I'll be knocking over my new... S23 Ultra that I, I'm using to record this one. Alright, let's get this in place. Alright, so this has to sit. Let's get this off the edge a little bit. Okay, here we go. Now we can get this in this place. And I will have to get this Okay, there. And then all you do is just, I don't think you tighten them up all the way. I think you just, yeah, and then it just gives it something to rotate with. So maybe, I don't know. All right, so that's how they want that to go, but that's going to go in a little bit more. So let's get this all the way in. I don't know what they want on the other side because yeah see I don't know I don't I don't understand this whole thing but alright okay just hang on here guys and let me see if I can get it to Stay in place. Yeah, that's what they want right there, I think. Okay, and then this one's just a. Alright, guess that's how they want that. Okay. Hope that's right. I don't know. Take a look at this and see if I did it right or if I have to take it apart. I'll be back in a second, guys. All right, so they give you a nylon nut right here, but I think I'm going to need more than just this wrench. I'm going to need because it's nine sixteenths. Yeah. All right, I'm going to have to go get. All right, I'll be right back. All right, guys, I only got the big gun. Not that I need it, but it'll be easier than trying to dig through and find a 916 socket. So let's go ahead, make sure we have that correct. Put this on 916 on that side. And there we go. I'm sure they want me to leave it somewhat loose, this is what I'm going to do, I'm not going to, 
crank it down too tight. I just want to make sure that this, yeah, that level feels good. Okay. All right. On to the next one. Let's see how we're doing here. Um, okay. All set with that. All right. What do they want next? Now, this is my first time putting one of these carts together. So, um, you have to bear with me. Okay. Oh, they want a a spring attached to that. All right, where does that spring? Oh, it attaches to a hole. All right. So that thing is spring loaded. All right. Let me find. Here's the spring. So spring has sprung, right? Well. You know what I'm saying, right? There's a spring right here. Can we say spring has finally sprung? I got the spring right here. We've got some nice weather here on Cape Cod. It's a nice day today. I'm in a t-shirt. I'm outside in my shed, but I got the doors open. And all right, let's just get this excess plastic off of here. God. Now that's the only problem they do this stuff with they package it up and then they make it hard to get the stuff off. Well, I'm just gonna take my knife and I'm just gonna all right let's see if that does it. Uh, all right I'll be right back guys. Okay, so I got this um, spring mounted, and what I did was, because there's a spring right here, has to go from this bracket, this lever right here, to this hole, and you have to stretch it. So how I did it was, I took the Allen head, Allen wrench, I hooked this spring to the lever, put the Allen head through the hook, I put it up through the hole, and I bent it this way, Till I got it to, and I held it from the outside and slid the spring down and right into the hole. So that's probably the easiest way to do that. All right, let's see what's next. I don't have too much more to go on this card, I believe. Um, okay, so let's see. All right, let me give me another bracket. Two number sevens, which is probably the. Um, yeah, seven, sevens, which is with that. Yeah, all right. Yeah, five sixteen inch round head screws. To the, yep, all right. So I need two and two of those, correct? Oh, no, let's see. Yep, two and two. No washes, most of it. All right. Two and two, perfect. All right. Now, okay. Oh, this is going on the end of this. All right, let's turn this around. All right, now what do they want on? Yeah, they want on this side, I guess. All right. Well, you tell it's getting warm out when you hear the rice rockets out. And those guys crank along in those things. They're like, you know they're doing all with speed limits, so. All right, let's get one nut on, and I'll put the other one on. Yep. There's one. And then two. And I should be good. And I'll tighten this down. Okay. So, Allen head, all right, Allen wrench, put that in the hole, and we will get these tightened down. Okay, and 
Another one right here. Put this one in place. Okay. Good, that's on. Now, let's see what we have next. All right, that's my pin. Now, they give you a cotter pin that you're going to want to hook this thing with, and I'll show you. All right, and all right, they want you to use this and this to hook this onto the trailer. Now, I went to Home Depot and I was I should have ordered with the cart. It probably wouldn't have, wouldn't have came at the same time, but I have this coming and it's supposed to work. Let's just go ahead and all right, let me go back to my orders and I will show you what I ordered. Um, it's a magnetic pin. And if you know for those of you who know what it is, it's fine if you don't. Well, this is it. So this is what I ordered right here. It's a magnetic pin. This whole piece is magnetic. You put it down through the hole and it holds it because then it'll just, you know, the magnet will hold it down in the hole and it won't come out. Now I have something else I can use that I use on my utility trailer that I have. And let me just go grab one of those and I'll show you what I'm talking about. Nope, sorry guys. So for now, um, I have the pin for this. I have the magnetic one coming. Hopefully it's the right size. No, I turn it, take it to the store and return it, but it should be all set. Um, so I'm good with that. All right, so I'm not going to bother putting that pin in because I'm not hooking it to my tractor today. So, all right, let's see. Oh. Well, they wanted lock nut and washer. Those are number seven. Yeah, I'll use what I got. I'm getting the right stuff anyway, so I'll be getting with lock nut and washer. All right. So I'm not going to put that in. All right. Now we're going to assemble this into the trailer. All right. And I guess it attaches to that. All right. So let's see how this is going to go. And how am I attaching this? Is what I need to know. Okay. Okay. Line the draw bar as illustrated here. Okay. So let's just see what they want. Oh, I see. It looks like the axle holds that bar in place. Okay. Yeah, it's got a place in the back for the axle. All right. So let's go ahead and. Let's get this. I might turn my camera here so I can get. All right. I'll just back this up a hair for you. All right. I'll leave this right here at the doorway because sun's starting to go down. Even though I do have lights in here, um, I just recently bought a set of solar powered lights for the ceiling and I'll give you a quick glimpse of those when I'm done um, all right so I can see how this is going to go all right we'll just put that down like that yeah. that like that all right let me make sure you guys can see this okay all right here we go and when I'm done Tell you my next video that's gonna be coming soon. Um, let's get this. All right. So this has to face. Yeah, with that facing up. Okay. All right. So this. Oh, I get it. All right. So this is going to go down inside of here, and the axle is going to come through. All right, I get it. Okay, I'm almost done because I think once this goes on, I'm pretty much 
Finito. All right. So I don't think it matters which end goes where or does it. Do I have to leave these on? I think those have to come off. I think these were shipping purposes only. Yeah. All right, shipping caps. Take those off. Well, why is that going on there? All right. Okay. Let's get this to come through. Oops. Okay. All right, let me come around the other side here so I can see what I'm doing. is in place. Ah, greasy. All right. So that's all you do to put the tongue on. So that's cool. And let's just get a look here and after I slide the tongue into place, put the ties on and then I put the C-clips in and I think that's it. All right, so they want number 14, which are they Big black washer, I see those. So let me cut these washers. And I'm sure they're gonna want them inside and out. All right. Okay. Okay. Big washers. So, we want to put a good washer here. All right, give me a tire. They look pretty nice too, the rims feel good. I think they're plastic, but that's okay. Yeah, they're plastic. As long as they work, it's all that matters to me. It's not like it's gonna be, you know, it's just a, it's just a, uh, a car. So, all right. So, did I push that too hard? I think I did. Yeah, there we go. All right. And then get this. And where is the. Okay, this sequence right there. Now, I see some metal ones. I don't know. All right. Which number do they want? 14. 14 is what? You can back up the top. 14 is. All right. Extra parts. I see the C clamp. It's two of those. But, all right, let's come back down. Assemble these. And then number 14. Oh, right here. Followed by another three quarter inch bushing. 14 on the end of the axle. Okay. So I have three quarter inch bushing, 14 on the end. All right, did I take out the right bushings? Give me one second, guys. And I'll make sure I did do the right one.
Yeah, nylon bushings. Yep. Oh, okay. So, let me see what's there. Because we got metal and nylon bushings in there. It just says to add a bite up. So I can use either plastic or the metal, I guess. I'll use the plastic for now. I already got the tire on there, so let's get the seat clamp out and then I'll just take the Allen wrench to probably push that down with. Alright, let's get the two C clamps out of here. Okay. There's that one. And then I will cut around that one. Get that one out. Alright, so I'm coming down to the final stages here. By the way, this cart on Home Depot was um uh, what did I pay for this? Three something? Uh, I don't remember. It was I think it was. It was it was cheap, the price was right, and this company's been around, Brindley has been around since 1839, so they've been around a long, long time. So let's just see if we can, I'm going to need something a little more, might have to get a pair of pliers for this, I don't know, let me just see. I might have to because that's just not going to go on there. All right, hold on, guys. I gotta grab a pair of pliers. Not going to go on as easy as I thought. Okay, guys. Got a pair of pliers here. Just get this. Yep. Yeah. I didn't tell you you needed pliers to put these on. I figured they'd slip on fairly easy. And they didn't, so. All right, let's get the other side on over here. And then we're finished. Flip this thing up on end and show you how she looks all done. All right. And the price is right. Okay, get that down in there. There we go. And I put the nylon bushing the outside and we get this last one started. All right. Yep. There we go. Nice. All right. So, now to be nice and accurate, I will tell you the price of this car. Um, Home Depot, and I got it directly from their factory, which was nice. And, all right, because it was three something. I'll tell you what the price is. Not on sale or anything. Um, $328. So that's not too bad. Um, it's going to do what I need. Um, told my wife, she saw it. Wow, that's bigger than what I thought. Well, yeah, but, you know, it's only a 10 cubic foot. Um, could have got a 15 cubic foot. But why? For what reason? So, whoa, draw. Oh, all right, back this up. And I will show you here it is all put together. It's all done. And then you got your release right here. Because it is a dump trailer. So if you want to dump your stuff, you have stuff in it, you can release it and dump your stuff. Then you lock it back in place. So this is my Brinley 10 cubic foot. Um tractor lawn garden tractor cart and there it is all finished up um so now i'll be able to you know 
we have some good yard work done. Like we got some spots, we're gonna need to bring in some dirt and stuff. And I'll be able to take my cart and I'll be able to use it to put the dirt into to put it around. So, all right, so there's my cart. All finished up. Um, give you a close up of the wheels right here. There you go. There's the wheels. Oh, and by the way, the lights that I was talking about, the right there. Amazon, what were they? 30 bucks, I think, 20, 28, I think, and some change. Then with the tax, going to like 30 bucks. They're solar powered. And if I come outside, there's my solar panel. So that's what's charging up the lights because I don't have any power out here in my shed. I've had thoughts of putting power out here. I might put an outlet out here. But as far as lights go, nah. Solar panel will be fine. One other thing, when I get around to doing it, I haven't done it yet. Um, if you read what's in this box, Turo Power Max. This is my brand new um, 60 volt um, Turo Snowblower. I'm going all battery with all my yard stuff, which I already have. I've got nothing gas left. Um, I just sold my Aaron's 32 inch Pro Series snowblower with a Brixton Stratton 420cc engine. Um, sold it on Facebook Marketplace. I sold it within just a couple of days. It wasn't long that I had it on there. And a guy from um, up the line, almost into Rhode Island, um, Swansea, came down and got it. And he's happy he got it. I'm trying to go all battery. I'm going to be trading in my 2020 F-150 Limited, fully loaded for a um, Ford Lightning. So when we do that, we're going to be all battery here. The only thing that we have gas-powered is my Generac, whole house generator, which that has to be But for now, but that's fine. So that's the only thing that's left with battery. And so that's my new Toro Snowblower. I'll be doing an unboxing of that and getting that set up. And this box right here is the bagging kit that I bought for my um, CC30E Cub Cadet. And let me just show you my Cub Cadet, in case you didn't see it. Um, it's still all covered with leaves and stuff from last fall. But here's my Alexa. Turn on the shed lights. Alexa, turn on the shed lights. Okay. So there's my 30, my CC30E Cub Cadet. As you can see, the it's all covered in leaves from mowing this thing. I'll have to take it outside and blow it off and get it ready to go. It's all charged up. And there's my Toro um, Recycler 22-inch um, battery-powered mower, 60 volt. So this is all my battery stuff. I got my my works Landroid right here. But I need to do some work in the yard before I can continue with that again. So I got a lot of good yard arsenal stuff to use. Um, so this is it. All right, guys. So, well, hey, listen, um, if you like the video, um, go ahead and give it a like. Um, and if you haven't subscribed, make sure you subscribe to my channel. Um, and I will catch you guys in the next one. See you, everybody.